Good morning. What false prophecy does Hananiah make? Our reading today is over now at Jeremiah chapter 28, and all the pieces here are going to go together the next three or four mornings, but let's start with verses 1 to 4 today. And it happened in the same year at the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fourth year and in the fifth month, that Hananiah, the son of Azur, the prophet, who was from Gibeon, spoke to me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priests and of all the people, saying, Thus speaks the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon. Within two full years I will bring back to this place all the vessels of the Lord's house that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from this place and carried to Babylon. And I will bring back to this place Jeconiah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, with all the captives of Judah who went to Babylon, says the Lord, for I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. So Hananiah prophesies a false prophecy and directly confronts the prophet Jeremiah. And in this chapter, we're going to see how that works out for him. Now, in these first four verses of this chapter, Hananiah, you know, cuts loose and he utters an absolutely false prophecy. And it wasn't even, you know, Hananiah is the one that approached Jeremiah here in the, in the temple area. And Hananiah comes, the false prophet, to the true prophet and confronts him. And he comes right to Jeremiah and he says, Thus says the Lord of hosts. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Hananiah is claiming that he's speaking as God's mouthpiece. I'm a prophet, says he. And then he directly contradicts several of Jeremiah's prophecies. In chapter 27, verse 8, Jeremiah is calling for the nations to put themselves under the yoke of Babylon. Hananiah says, we're going to break that yoke. In chapter 27, verse 22, Jeremiah prophesies that the remaining vessels that are in the house of the Lord, even they will be carried away to Babylon. Hananiah says the opposite. They'll be coming back from Babylon. And I like this. Hananiah puts himself on a timer. In two full years, he says, two full years. Back in Jeremiah 22, verses 24 to 26, Jeremiah prophesied that Jeconiah would not be coming back. Hananiah prophesies that King Jeconiah will be coming back within two years, and so on. So Hananiah doesn't make one or two, but he makes several false prophecies. And all these are going to be shown to be false by near future developments. And you know, I can't help but thinking that false prophecies might be quite a bit like salted peanuts. It's kind of hard to stop with just one. Hananiah certainly has a mouthful of false prophecies. Well, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, it's interesting to me how the false prophets practically beg you to prove them wrong. They just, and Hananiah comes straight up into, into Jeremiah's face and starts carrying on these loud false prophecies. It's, it's really amazing. And Lord, you will prove all those who are false prophets wrong, and you'll do it quickly. You've already spoken through your servants. You've already given the prophecies. And we know that you don't speak one thing from one part and then a di totally different thing another time, Lord, that you're consistent with yourself. So thank you for your true prophets. Thank you for those that are faithful and willing to stand up. And Lord, we know that the false prophets pretty much are bullies all the time. And Hananiah is about to get a pretty strong interaction with you. So we're going to be watching this tomorrow morning and see what comes next. Lord, may your true prophets be shown to be true and may the false prophets be shown to be false. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen. So we asked, what false prophecy does Hananiah make? Well, actually, he makes several false prophecies. But God vindicates the true prophets and brings to confusion every false prophecy. Today, you and I can serve him looking at the true prophecies and building on that. God be with you today.